This is the formula for the area of a regular pentagon with side length A. Quite complex. Perhaps that's why it's difficult to find the resources that derive this formula from start to finish. Today, we will derive this formula step by step by using the diagonal of a regular pentagon, not the apothem. First, I want to explain why I started exploring different methods. Please search for area of regular pentagon on YouTube. Most of them use a method involving the apothem. In a regular pentagon, this angle is 72 degrees, so this angle is 36 degrees. For this triangle, tangent 36 degrees equals this. The apothem is calculated this way. However, the value of tangent 36 degrees is actually an irrational number that is an infinite decimal. So, most people use an approximate value to solve the problem. After finding the area of one triangle, they multiply the value by 5. But that way is not mathematically accurate, and it does not derive the formula. Now, let's begin the proof of this formula when the side length is 1. Substitute 1 for a, we'll get this value. Our goal is to derive this value. Draw a diagonal in the pentagon. The length is d. The pentagon is divided into a triangle and a quadrilateral. If we know the value of d, we can easily calculate the area of these two shapes using specific formulas. Heron's formula and Brahmagupta's formula. Heron's formula is used to find the area of a triangle when the lengths of all three sides are known. According to this formula, the area of this triangle is this. Brahmagupta's formula is used to find the area of a quadrilateral when the lengths of all four sides are known. But there is one condition. The quadrilateral must be inscribed in a circle. Therefore, Brahmagupta's formula applies to this quadrilateral. The area of this quadrilateral is this. The sum of these two areas is the area of this regular pentagon. Look at this. The area is expressed only in terms of the diagonal D. So we just need to find D. The easiest method to find the length of the diagonal is Ptolemy's theorem. This theorem deals with the relationship between the length of the square inscribed in a circle. By applying this theorem, we get this equation. When we solve this quadratic equation, we find the value of D. Do you recognize this? It is the famous golden ratio. Should we substitute this value directly into this area formula we derived? If we do so, the equation becomes complicated because d is a fraction containing an irrational number. It's better to simplify the equation first and then substitute the value of d. To do this, we can use this equation we obtained while finding the value of d. This equation can be rewritten like this d squared is equal to d plus 1. The quadratic equation can be converted into the linear one. Using this relationship, let's simplify the equation first. This part changes like this. This part also changes like this. In order to combine the two expressions, we transformed so that they have a common factor. We factor out the common factor root 3 minus d. Substitute d squared with d plus 1 and simplify. Bring 1 plus 3d under the square root. Expand the square of a binomial. Substitute d squared. Expand the equation. Substitute d squared we get the final equation. It's time to substitute the value of d into this equation. This is the area of a regular pentagon with side length 1 we were aiming for. Good job!